New at 11, once again, business is booming in an area hit hard by the decline of coal, all thanks to a grant from the Kanawha County Commission. 13 News reporter Lily Bradley joins us now live with more on the revival of a small town business. Lily. Jennifer, it's expensive to start a business, but it's also expensive to keep that business booming. The Kanawha County Commission knows that, and they're hoping to help local businesses with a grant that's already proving to be a game changer. For 42 years, the Christian Family Bookshop has been a staple in the Smithers community. Christian Family Bookshop. But it hasn't always been easy. We lost coal, and then for our area, we lost West Virginia Tech, which was devastating. So um, it's really been a struggle. And plus, we are a Christian bookstore, and bookstores are dinosaurs now. So now, contrary to the sign on the front door, Grace Ann Nutter's shop is more than just books. She's partnered with the post office. The shop has also dipped into electronics, and they have a new selection of women's clothing and other small gifts. We are further restructuring the business and uh, discovering who our new clients are and drawing new clients into the business. But that wouldn't have been possible without the UCAN grant. County Commissioner Ben Salango says the idea behind the grant is to encourage the startup or expansion of businesses in a region of the county hit hard by the decline of the coal industry. And we're not just developing new businesses, we're making sure that we keep the ones that we have. So this was a particular business that needed a little boost to transition. A boost that will allow Grace Ann to keep her store running, she hopes hopes for another 42 years and then some. What they have offered us with this grant is, is a chance for survival, you might say. It helps us over that bump with the change in the makeup of this area. And it's not like they just hand you the money and that's it. They also have business coaches and professional development crews working with those businesses to help with the transition. Now, they are accepting applications for new applicants for the grants. Those are due by the end of this month. We've got that link on our website right now, wowktv.com. Reporting live in Charleston.